I've already done my Oscar film that surprised me about 127 hours. You can still check that video out, it's still up on my channel right now. But now it's time to talk about a film that did surprise me, but a bit more recently. <laughs> Birdman or the unexpected virtue of ignorance. I'm gonna be normal and just call it Birdman. So Birdman is the story of Michael Keaton who is a former actor who used to play a superhero on the big screen called Birdman and this film literally follows him his character around as he's trying to get together this Broadway play. All the while he's being kind of supported by his daughter played by Emma Stone and his lead actor played by Edward Norton. Now tomorrow at the Oscars this film has nine nominations which is the joint most with Grand Budapest Hotel. And yeah, let's get into reviewing this film. I actually really do like this film, obviously, given the fact that it's an Oscar film that surprised me, but anyway, this film was entertaining, it really was. Um, first of all, everyone comments on this first, so I'm just going to comment on it first, and that's the filming style. It's all filmed to be like one shot, and it's awesome. It really works for this film. And you can tell where like they have the transitions, like when someone walks out of the door, it goes all dark, and then it shows them go outside the building. You can tell where the transitions are, but it doesn't tear you out going all BS, rubbish. It's, it's really good and it's really ambitious. It's never been done before and it's done masterfully in this film. It really feels like you're watching these people, you're just following around, following their lives and it's kind of like a sitcom, sort of, but the camera's like following them and not in the background. Michael Keaton is good in this film, well actually no, he's great in this film. He plays the washed up actor trying to get the Broadway going really well and you do kind of feel for the guy, especially when he's getting grilled by Emma Stone. Emma Stone has this huge rant to him about how he's trying to be more relevant in the world and you're like, oh, Michael Keaton, sorry. But you do, you really do feel sorry for him and I kind of connected him with, it, with him a little bit as well. Ed Norton as the douchebag lead actor was awesome. I liked him in this film as well. He was really funny. The banter he had with Michael Keaton and sometimes serious arguments he had with Michael Keaton and his chemistry with Emma Storm was, was really good as well. Emma Storm was also really good. She didn't really stand out in this film for me. She's not in the film too much, but when she's there, she is pretty good. One thing I love in this film as well is the soundtrack. It's always like a really drum soundtrack. Like when the character's moving through doors, it's like well, it's like a drum soundtrack. I don't, I can't really imitate it because because I can't alter my vocal cords to sound like drums. But you kind of get what I mean, hopefully. And the drum soundtrack, it really works for this film. It plays all the way throughout. It just makes it feel feel more of a kind of a chilled out film if you get my drift. Not like a really over dramatic, over or like really non-serious film. Plus there's like a really good hallucination part of this film where uh, Michael Keaton's hallucinating, pretending he's the bird man, and he's like flying around the city. That was really good as well. I really didn't expect that in this film, if I'm gonna be really honest. And also the actual character of Birdman, he, he's always been followed by the voice of Birdman, and he's just, he's just funny, he's, re he's really awesome. And um, I can't remember that much about this film. I, I watched it like last month or two months ago, like that or something, so I don't remember too much, so I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to remember from the back of my mind about this film, but what I do remember of this film, I really do like it. And obviously it wasn't years ago, so I'm not like I don't remember it all. So I remember the acting is really good, the soundtrack is really good, I love the filming style, you know, the one shot, really do like that. Plus, really, really true and really relevant point to critics. Like, you all know about the scene where Michael Keaton goes mental at this critic in this bar because she's just like, oh, I'm going to trash your play you're really done. Was she British? I can't remember, but she's just basically saying if his play is good or bad, she's just gonna trash it, which I really, I really know that because everyone, lots of people these days just bash films, even if they like the films, they're like, nope, rubbish, absolutely terrible film. You know, like the hipsters and the all them kind of people, really good, really good scene where Michael Keaton's just unloading on this chick. It was awesome. So as the name of this video does suggest, this was an Oscar nominated film that did surprise me. Tomorrow, I would like this film to win Best Picture, mainly because it's like one of the one of the only Best Picture films I've seen. I've seen this, I've seen Theory of Everything, which I liked. I saw American Sniper, which I did quite like. And I've seen Selma, which I did like as well. But out of them four, I would really like Birdman to win this. I, I do think Boyhood will win, because in terms of like the technical scale, like it's filmed over 12 years, that's why I think Boyhood will win, but if I the one I really want to win is Birdman, and I and I think it'd be really good if Michael Keaton got Best Actor as well. But I can only fingers crossed, like all the fingers crossed. I'll give Birdman a four out of five. So I know if you're watching this video, you've seen Birdman. So what are your thoughts about it, and do you think it should win Best Picture tomorrow at the Oscars, 
or if not, which awards do you think it deserves to win? Leave a comment below, and if you want to see more stuff, be sure to subscribe to my channel, because i got stuff coming to you guys all the time.